I think that's a tempt too abandoned. He mustn't have a bow thruster. He must have a bow thruster. Oh, he's just about to take that bush out in the apartment. Hi, we're Jackie and Michael, and we're exploring the rivers and canals of Britain on our 57-foot narrowboat border Riva. We'll show you what it's like to live day-to-day on a narrowboat, and we'll arrive in some beautiful places next to the water. We go and explore the areas we've moored at for the night, and we'll take you with us. But we're here, we're in central London with our boat. Um, we'll figure out a way. What news? Go and get in. I don't seem to have a clue of what's going on, but... The problem is, it's, you know, wind tunnel and turning the boat around might be tricky, so uh, yeah. So down the end of the basin, 180 degree turn. Never mind a, a coffee, I'll need a gin and tonic at the end of this. Yeah, there's a lot more room than you think to get in. Yeah, it's quite tight though. Alright, so the wind. Yeah, yeah, much better. Michael's just said, better into the wind. Yeah, more into the wind's easier yeah. than the uh, stern wind that we've got now. It's a day, isn't it, this? Yeah. Round we go. So the problem here was that the strong wind was coming from our stern and as I tried to turn broadside onto the wind it got hold of the boat making it harder to complete the turn. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, once I'd made the turn, the wind direction then changed, thanks for that, and it came onto the starboard side of the boat, blowing us away from the direction we needed to go. We're in! Oh my heavens! Really well done by Captain, really well done. But it's a complete wind tunnel. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes, and breathe. We'd like to thank the people who this week clicked on the Buy Me A Coffee link in our video description. Jenny and Trevor from Narrowboat Life of Riley, David, a fellow ex-Royal Navy man, and David Hall. Going out, out into London. See some comedy, a bit of food. Yeah, onto the tube. Michael's just said we're going on the new Elizabeth line, which has only just opened. Which, tube. Yeah, it's a tube, isn't it? Yeah. Following some British gymnasts up the escalator with the British team. Uh, we're not going on the Elizabeth line. It doesn't. Um, stop at where was it Bond Street until um, 
but it's not open yet so we're heading in a different direction now We made our way to Islington in North London for some dinner and then some live comedy. I used to perform stand-up comedy so it's always a favourite thing of ours to do. So we're so now out in London, really good, went to see some comedy in... Where did we go? Islington. Islington. Yeah. And um, just walking back to the boat in Paddington Basin and there we are, just over there. So. We are there, just there. It's it's very sparkly. Leaving Paddington Basin. The sun's not quite got onto the mooring yet, so uh, it's quite chilly. Um, I think it'll be different when we turn the corner. Quite a tight space to get out of. It's cold this morning. It is. Um, but you know, we've had a fab, fab stay, haven't we? Yeah. Where we've been, over there, for a couple of nights. I think the other boat's going as well. Oh, it's windy. Oh, you cold? It's called it? the sun. We're in the sun. Perfect. Yeah, where the boat was more, we were yeah. out of the sun. So once you go into the sun, yeah. it makes it nice and warm. That's that's different. That's nice. Just coming through a little Venice again. Lots of uh, moorers here as well. Very busy spot for mooring, the whole of this Paddington area. Lots of boats. We're heading towards that blue bridge. Lots of, peop lots of people live on the boats in London that um, get a temporary contract to come and work here for a couple of years. It's quite a good way of um, or buy a boat, uh, a narrow boat, live on it for a couple of years. Um, saves them on rent and then when they sell the boat they get some of the money back that they paid for the boat originally so yeah, it's a good way of living in London some people criticize it because they say well they're taking up some of the moorings and they're not because there are some moorings that you can stay on for 7 and 14 days and they're meant for people continuously moving around but they'll move sort of just to, you know just enough to satisfy the rules um, but I can understand that they've got they've got to live and work in London so some people choose to uh, some people choose to live on the boats that way so but it's good we've seen lots of those and uh, everybody's enjoying the canal even worse from this direction, the sunken sailboat. Oh, That was maybe somebody's Mediterranean hopes and dreams.
this wide beam's trying to wind and finding it really difficult. I'm not quite certain what's happening now. Um, it's just alongside the other wall, but he's not asked us to go past, so um, we should stay here until we know what he's doing, I think. Yeah, so they were trying to turn across the whole width of the canal here, but it was so long. I think they've abandoned that idea and they're off now. Gosh, there must be about 12 solar panels on the top of there. In fact, I bet there's 16. Can't quite count how many individual ones there are. On we go, I think. We've broke up all the green weed, anyway. All the duckweed, by doing that. It's winding. Not the greatest of places to wind, I don't think. It'll make it, but, hmm. Be. This boat is a fully electric wide beam boat and that's probably why the roof is almost completely covered with solar panels. <laughs> He's certainly displacing all the duckweed. I don't know what he's going to do to that huge clump of weed that's floating there. Anybody knows if all this duckweed eventually grows into these huge great big beds of weed? Let us have a little comment down below. I see these massive um, islands of um, plant life. Ah, I've also spotted the dead swan over here on the right there that we saw when we went the other way. We went into the base and it's there. I'm glad they're doing it and not us. Meanwhile, London life goes on around. A few gone goozlers on the bridge. Fire brigade. Captain's down there. <laughs> And look at the uh, look at the duckweed building up here. You can see the ridges of it. Ugh. He mustn't have a bow thruster. He must have a bow thruster. Oh, he's just about to take that bush out in the apartment. Oh. Hmm. Okay. It's not. Hmm. Oh, I want my I want my lovely shiny boat going under there. I think that's attempt to abandon. <laughs> and I didn't say this but all he's done is succeeded in pushing the huge great big clump of um, undergrowth into the centre of the canal. Look here, literally right in the centre of the canal. Okay Bit of discussion about what happens next. I think we're gonna to have to sneak through on the right hand side there. Go and have a chat with the captain. I'm not sure how we were gonna get through that. Oh dear. I recognise what's happening there. Yeah. Again? Third, third time. Third time. The uh, collection of third, the third down the weed hatch. Oh, oh dear. Meanwhile, in the distance, the large grey narrowboat is winding and they're nearly round. Hey! 
success. Michael sorted the weed hatch out and the narrow boat's winded. And I've got lunch on some cheeky egg mayonnaise sandwiches, which will be most needed. Perfect. How was that, Captain? <laughs> Interesting. Again. The third time. Third time. Yeah, third time in the weed hatch on the Paddington Arm, two on the way up and one on the way back so far. I suspect there might, there might be a few more on the way to the Grand Union. Yeah, Bulls Bridge, yeah. Bulls Bridge. But, but I did say the boat's windy, which it yeah, has. It's and turned round now, it's coming back to water. So. And I've got some cheeky egg mayonnaise sandwiches on the go. Excellent, you know, it's all come to us. Good. I try. <laughs> Another dead swan here. It's about our third. Weed completely stops play. Here he's coming at speed. All right. That was a hard mooring. And I got my rope twisted, still boy. And then fell over back. Catch that. This side, towards me. Revs off. That's not coming off. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us.